in this program is uh, about boolean logical operator so let's start this program i didn't write a class name here so let's make a new file for that program and now i am making a new file in a already created a project i'm opening that project and now i'm deleting this because i don't want this default package so i'm creating on this new java class i am taking the name as bull logic bull logic So here is your class. I am deleting the, all this relevant things. So public static void main public static void main e r g s string args so we are taking here boolean so boolean is equals to true as you know in boolean true or false are two values and either it's true or false And boolean d here is a and b so so let's print all these statements so let's write e f g or then we will print this then a and b A and B 
and then A and B and here is semicolon so boolean G and here is not A not so here is it is system dot print I'm saving this program and now running it So my current program name is this. So let's run this file and see the output. So program is successful or here you can see the full output. So it is A is true, B is false and everything is correct. So let's make another program and this is a pro program of ternary and it can, you can use in place of if. So it includes special ternary three-way operator that can replace certain type if then else statement. It can replace uh, several type if then statement. So let's make a new class for it. And class name is ternary. So here it is. public static void main and here we are taking uh, integer i and k variables i and k so let's do it i's and we are initializing i with 10 with so and k we are taking next line k is equals to k is equals to i less than 0 i less than 0 and then here is we are putting here question mark and minus i so get absolute value of i so that we can get a absolute value of i so it's a territory So for printing, I'm writing here absolute value of so 
it is done now So system dot print ln. So let's write this, copy this statement and write once again because we have to print. Oh. System dot print ln. Then i is equal to minus ten. Minus ten. Then is we are taking here for get absolute getting absolute value. So I'm removing this because. We have to write something else here. I and plus I plus is I plus is plus K. we have to print this statement again here after looking at this value so I'm paste copying it and pasting it here so we don't need this So now our program is complete. Removing this. So let's save this program and run that. And I'm saving this. But showing the already previous program. So let's run this ternary, ternary dot Java. So I'm running this file and looking at its output. So here is the output. You can see. The absolute value of 10 is 10 and absolute value of minus 10 is 10. So you have to know the operator precedence. If I want to talk about the operator's precedence, then highest is the postfix in increment and prefix after that postfix and then multiplication then addition and then shift and then greater than and equal to and and so on so you can read about the precedence of operator it's a very important topic and using parenthesis Parenthesis raise the precedence of operations that are inside them. This is often necessary to obtain the result you desire. For example, consider the following. Example is A uh, left bit and B plus 3. So this expression first adds 3 to B and then shifts A right by that result. That is this expression can be written using redundant parenthesis like. Okay. So you can read about using parenthesis and operator precedence. This is your homework and try out some more similar questions, similar programs. So it, for your practice. 
so i am giving you a homework is read about operator precedence and using parenthesis i am uploading these program on github you can go and see code if you have any confusion so thanks for watching